Hello, DJ Master here, and welcome to a video that was requested by Danushka Dasanayaka. <coughs> and it's basically about how to record a guitar. How you could use the this uh, mixing desk for recording onto a computer. Um, sorry for the way I speak, but I've got a cold right now, and it's basically killing me. Uh, but I'll try to make it as usual. Right, so basically, uh, this mixer, as I didn't mention before, has a little bit of a problem that it's not, it doesn't have a USB port. So, as you know, how a USB looks like, um, the problem, the thing is, it doesn't have that. So it will not, you can see here, it does not have any um doesn't have a port for that so unfortunately you will not be able to get a clean sound into a computer but there is but it is still good to get um use i'll show you the alternative for it so basically got a lead here i'm not going to play today on guitar cuz i'm not going uh, i'm really tired All right anyway so you just plug into here into the line um, I suggest plugging into the first one can, uh, as there is gain and especially there are two EQs for high and low frequencies. This is very useful because um, it will get it will allow you to get the sound the sound you want. And, um, <coughs> so there are two ways out. It's either well, two, there's there's three. Okay, you can either get it get the sound out of phones or the main main output or through the auxiliary. Alright, I'll I'll explain the cons and pros pros and cons <laughs> pros and cons of um each of the out inputs and outputs. Alright, so the phones is good for um if you have a single lead like this. Um it's perfect for getting it into an amp or something similar because it has a left and right output so you'll get a stereo sound um, the problem is it can sometimes be faulty or doesn't work or the cable or something like that so it's not very secure um, the main output is uh, it does have a left and right so you can give it a stereo sound if you want to with two speakers um, <coughs> The problem is it's also unbalanced, so it's not, for example, like the XLR output. So therefore, um, you can only use, for example, if you have one speaker, it's not very good to have just left or something. It's best to use phones. I suggest using the auxiliary output because it has a, it will give you a clean left and right output. This can sometimes be faulty as well, the right one. Because I use the left one most, as it's a mono, mono output. Um, the auxiliary is best for a computer because it does not require. If you get the right cable, you do not require a adapter. If you just give me a moment. Um, yeah, these are sorry. These are just two mics that I. God, and I could do a review on them if you want to. Ah. I want just like this. It's a jack, a 6.3 millimeter to a mini jack, which is 3.5. Um, if you're going to record into a computer through the mic output, you're going to need this. I don't know if you're going to have it. You're probably not. But again, I. I don't suggest using this because it can be unclean. What I do suggest is, again, sorry, the auxiliary for repeating myself. Auxiliary, as it will just give you an, a mini jack output. Sorry, speakers. Um, so I'll just show you. This is a cable that you'll need. It's a mini jack to two RCA which is for auxiliary. We plug in nicely. 
Um, this will give you the best sound quality. Um, uh, don't worry, uh, Scott. For example, this is white and red. This is white and yellow because this color doesn't doesn't matter if it's yellow, red, or something similar. Um, the white is important as it's neutral. So, um, yeah. So that's the cable that you'll need for the auxiliary output, and you just plug this into the mic input in the computer. Um, so yeah, that's it. So basically, what you need is to uh, saying it shortly. What you have to do is just plug a lead into here. Uh, just make sure the gain and the level is fine and all that. Also, um, good, again, the good thing is you can choose the EQ, the high and the uh, low frequency. So that will give you the sound that you want straight away. And I suggest using the auxiliary output as it is and the best sound quality and it's the le uh, least fuss with it. Um, I will make um, more videos and I do have an update on my homemade studio for under 80 pounds. This will be updated soon, I guess in about a week when I'll get some new equipment. I'll do a review of the iMac G5, Ion ITT USB turntable and of the Launchpad Mini by Novation. So, uh, please, please stay tuned and I'll get that sorted out. If you want to, I'll do a, a review of Sony headphones that are really useful. Sorry for reaching out and all that. Just so unprepared today. Headphones like these. These are really good quality. I'll do a review on them if you really want to. Yep, yeah, so, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.